All right, so it's coming up towards the Tour de France and we have some new bike tech. So these are all aero disc bikes, that the uh, main ones that I've found. There are some other ones coming out, but I'm gonna focus on the Madon and the Specialized Venture. So we go over to the old cycling news, as we love to. And you can see, pretty similar design. Forks look a little bit wider. Obviously it's got disc brakes, uh, still got the ISO speed decoupler, um, and obviously the rear brake has been removed, so that leaves a bit of space. You can see these uh, new integrated bars. You seem to be able to change the angle of the bars, I believe. It's just slightly different design. I'm not 100% sure if they're a one piece. I don't think so. They might be. Um, and you can see here they've got longer chain stays just to uh, accompany all the disc brakes. So the disc brakes means you have to like, strengthen around the chain stay area, around the forks normally larger bottom bracket. I mean, you can see around this part, it's a lot cleaner than it was before. Uh, just generally looks pretty nice. Um, you can see, you can see the front of the bike looks a little bit cleaner. Just the, the stupid brakes before just looked a bit, a bit like dumb and didn't really make any sense. Uh, apart from that, it's pretty similar. I mean, I feel like now the aero bikes are so, so similar that you can't really tell the difference. I think the rear hanger is a bit different. This looks pretty interesting. It's actually inside. So normally in your hanger, it will be on the outside of the frame, but this is actually on the inside. So I guess it just keeps the derailleur closer in. It's a bit more aero. I mean, marginal gains at least at the very, like at the most, sorry. Uh, and then you can see here, pretty similar head tube. Everything is quite similar. I mean, there's not gonna be radical changes. Um, I'm surprised they didn't really use the, because basically the user has changed the three to one rule. Um, and so I thought the forks might be a little a little different, but I mean they're a little bit wider I think, but not really. Um, and you can see we've still got the ISO speed to cover as I said before, uh, and they look pretty similar. Um, so we just scroll through this, sort of all the same stuff. Launch new some rims, yeah, it's pretty pretty similar stuff. Anyway, right, so we'll go into the new S Works tarmac. Um, so this is Fabio Jakobsen again. Disc brakes. Um, we've got slightly different head tube. Um, and we've got pretty similar chain stays to be honest. There's a little little less slope on the top tube apparently, so geometry might have changed, but you can see the handlebars is where there's a lot of change compared to the old Venge. Um, I can try and get a picture of that up now just so you can see the difference, but it's, it's mainly just on the size of the stem is different. Um, if we go on one of these, you can just see the way it's like got that just where my mouse is here, around that weird thing on the top, it sort of bends over. That is sort of seems to have been dialed down a bit and it's not as bent, it's more like the propel style thing. Uh, chain stays slightly deeper, but it's again, pretty similar. The new, I've got fork, the new fork is through axles, again, pretty exciting. Bottom brackets, apparently the bottom brackets are threaded. That's what I've heard. Uh, here it says it's BB30, but I, I saw somewhere else that was threaded, but maybe, maybe, that, was a, maybe that was an error. Um, you can see we've got Aerofly, that's a different, um, that's pretty much it, like they're all so similar now, like if you look at the difference between that and um, the Madon, like, I mean the Madon looks slightly different, but then you go on the images here, like, they're looking pretty cool, uh, and then we see the Madon on Instagram as well, pretty nice, but like, again, you can compare the Madon here compared to the old one, and like, it doesn't really look that different, does it, like, let's be honest. Um, there's a little bit of things that are different, uh, like obviously the the handlebars, integrated stem and bars, all that stuff. But like the forks are a little wider, maybe, but it's like it's pretty pretty similar. I'm just gonna show you the giant propel because it's just like every bike's the same these days. Like, look at that. I mean, that looks like a hybrid, doesn't it? I mean, okay, the seat tubes aren't as low on the, as they are, um as here. Like, so the seat tubes are slightly in between. So you look at the S Works as seat tube. Um, where they come out, the drop seat stays, sorry, not seat tube, the seat stays there, you can see, it's just, you know, a little bit not as extreme, so cha chain stays will be a little bit shorter, these things here. Um, disc brakes again, integrated bar and stem, look very similar. I mean, the bikes really aren't looking different. We compare the Propel, sorry, compare the Propel to the Madon, to the Venge, and I mean, it really is pretty similar bikes. I mean, it's just they all look the same, don't they? Let's be honest. Like the difference between the bikes now is just so small. Um, I'm not even sure if it's like worth reporting on the bike tech anymore. It's just like quite disappointing, really. Well, I guess it's not disappointing because this is the most aero setup. But it really, it really does illustrate that will bikes get any faster? I guess unless there's a change of rules, change of technology, 
Maybe if we start using graphene, there might be a different way of laying up bikes, which will make it more aero and stiff. But if you want a stiff bike that's aero, it's pretty much going to look like one of these three bikes. Um, really, <laughs> there's not going to be much variance. Um, even like some of the old school Italian ones, like uh, the Willier. I mean, it's like if we if we look up the um, the Willier tri Willier um, Cento Dieci Air. Again, you look at this and. It, it's just very, very similar bike. Um, the disc version, we'll try and find the disc version because that literally looks the same as well. So you think, oh, they're Italian or whatever, like maybe it'd be different, but it's like, nah, it's pretty much the same. I mean, it really is. Like that's literally looks like a propel. I mean, if you look at that and then you look at the propel, I mean, can you even tell the difference? They just look slightly zoomed in. Like it's just, it's just crazy. Um, maybe they bought it from Giant. I'm not 100% sure. Um, maybe they made by the giant i don't really know but all you can say is that if you're going to buy a bike in 2018 it's going to be an aero disc bike if you want if you sorry if you're going to buy an aero disc bike in 2018 they're all pretty identical i mean the scott four i guess apparently is the fastest but even that like we'll I'll have a google of that because you'll see that the scott foil disc again looks so similar um i mean like the seats seat stays a little bit lower chain stays maybe not quite as long as some of them Integrated bars and stem look the same. Discs, I mean, it really is. The, the head tube's like the same as the Madon, pretty much. I mean, it really is just they're all the same bikes these days. Um, maybe we've got a bit of Cervelo actions. Uh, Cervelo R5, okay, right, we've got a different bike. Like, the climbing bikes still are different. But these ones, the aero disc brakes, all the same. Every single one. Before, disc brakes used to have different brakes, maybe. Slightly different geometry due to that. Now, oh my god, they're almost the same. I mean, maybe the weight is different, stiffness, things like that. But in terms of looks... In terms of error testing, I mean, they're all so similar. It's now it's just um, it's just quite boring to be honest. But there are my thoughts. Do you think all bikes are turning into the same? Do you think like all these error disc brakes look good or not? I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't really have an opinion on them. I, I feel like they don't look great, but they don't look absolutely dreadful either. They're sort of like middle of the road, pretty, pretty boring stuff. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.